Hey, what's up? It's Two Scoops back again with Sonic Academy. In this two part video series, I'm going to walk you through this groundbreaking VST synth called Chromophone 2 by Applied Acoustics. This is a very interesting soft synth, as it doesn't function the same way as standard synths do with basic wavetable oscillators. Instead, it utilizes synth impulses, though without using any samples, to mimic round robin instruments such as contact sample libraries. Basically, each time you play a hit, it will generate a slightly tonally different sound, and in turn, you're able to create really organic sounding synth patches without using any samples, almost like physical modeling synthesis. This simulates live instruments. Before I walk you guys through the parameters, I'm going to show you guys a few of the great presets this synth has to offer. All right, starting with mallets here, I'm going to show you some of these sounds. It's a really good kind of marimba. Here's some percussion sounds. Very organic and real sounding, even though it's all uh, synth. Change some of the uh, resonators here just to show you. Some electronic drums. More synthy, like bells, right here. Some slap bass. The synth engine definitely sounds really good and organic. I really like the effects that Chromophone has to offer as well. Okay, to start, you have your bank and program, which helps you maneuver through the different presets and types of instrument sounds. You also have your manage browser, a helpful compare button, and save buttons. Next, you have your play, edit, and effects interfaces in order to edit presets and tweak the sounds. MIDI assign is next to that, along with your voices, tune, and master volume. Moving on down to the lower part of the synth, you have a convenient compressor, EQ, delay, chorus, and reverb for basic effects. Below that is the pitch and mod knobs, as well as your easy to edit arpeggiator with MIDI clock unison and vibrato controls. Next, we're moving to edit controls. As you can see here, they give you an LFO uh, as well as an envelope for any parameters you want tweaked, as well as an organic noise oscillator, which can really come in handy for shaping your sounds. After that comes the cool stuff. There is a mallet feature which basically simulates different types of mallet hits, which in turn will affect the outcome of your sound. With that comes the mixer, which allows you to dial in the exact feeling you want correlating with the noise and mallet. You can assign the LFO and envelopes to all the parameters as well. Next with the resonators, these are great and the main aspect of shaping your sound. They simulate a wide variety of resonant instruments, such as drum heads, tubes, and marimbas, and other instruments. They also feature strings and uh, various other types of heads. You also have your radius, decay, release, uh, and a crossfader to mix between both resonators efficiently. And lastly is the post effects chain, 
which can help you really perfect the overall sound and fill out what is needed sonically. Okay, so next I'm going to show you the basic functionality of Chromophone 2, starting with an initialized patch. I'm going to start here by bringing down the decay of the resonator and adjusting the mallet stiffness so we can start shaping a sound. Next I'm going to adjust the noise and color of the noise to demonstrate how that affects the initial transient. After that, I'm going to add the resonator back in, but change it to a setting that I like. Yeah. Like any other aspect of sound design, you need to kind of move back and forth from the mallet settings to the resonator to dial in the sound you want. And here we have it, a solid sound to start an initial, original patch for Chromophone 2. Thanks for watching and check out my next video where I will be creating different sounds in Chromophone. Peace. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.